Thank you very much for those kind words. It's a great honor for me to receive this award, and it's particularly meaningful for me to be associated with so many colleagues. Colleagues in oncology, even Clara from years ago in leukemia, uh, that I so very greatly admire. Um, it's been 40 years since I finished training, and I think there are two things in my career that have really been a passion. And one of them, of course, has been gastrointestinal oncology. And as uh, Charles pointed out before, the image of Chuck Mortel uh, hung over many of us and shaped our careers about how one does clinical trials, how one uh, uh, seeks the truth, how one never takes an anecdote as being valid. Uh, I was fortunate enough to become involved with a gastrointestinal tumor study group in 1974, and um, seminal studies came of that, multidisciplinary studies, and they shaped the field and they changed things. Uh, with the CLGB, um, it's also been a, a tremendous uh, privilege for me to be um, uh, in, involved. Rich Goldberg is here somewhere in the room, and. Rich was also part in leadership in, in that uh, GI program, which has really been quite, uh, quite successful, and uh, even as recently as the last few uh, years, uh, changes have occurred. I think the future of gastrointestinal cancer and our major challenge now is moving to pancreatic cancer, where it's been estimated that by 2030, it will be the second most common cause of cancer-related death, and that's what I hope to spend the next few years engaged in. The second major passion, as you pointed out, has been training uh, the next generation, and I'm honored that uh, there are seven or eight uh, former trainees uh, who are in the room tonight, and uh, their, their presence, including that of my daughter, uh, is very meaningful to me. So uh, it's really a privilege for me to be here and to be included in this group of giants. Thank you very much.